Hi viewers, welcome back. My name is Tiala Faith Mugendi. I am very sorry I have been away for a longer period of time, but as you saw in my previous uh, video, I wasn't feeling well, but now I am back bigger and better. And let us do this. So today I have an amazing tutorial that we are going to look at uh, the topic in mathematics. Uh, I, this is in form, uh, in form 3, equation of a circle given the end point of a diameter and i have with me i have an example here we are told to find the equation of a circle whose diameter as the end point negative two five and four one so i'm going to show you step by step how to tackle a question of this form so the first step guys is to sketch So we have our circle over here. This is the diameter. Maybe we can call this center of the circle C. And we can call this one R and P. So we know the end point of the diameter. We have negative 2, 5. And we also have 4, 1. Alright? Now I want you to remember uh, a topic in form 2. Uh, about angle property part of a circle whereby we say angle subtended by a diameter is 90 degrees maybe at this point we can call it s and we can give it a, a arbitrary point x y now having that we can be able to find the equation of this circle by using the idea again of form two work where we are supposed to find the gradient of these two lines since they are now perpendicular we know the gradient of rs and sp is when we multiply their gradient we are going to get negative one so what we are saying is that the product the product of their gradients of the gradient of rs times sp we shall have negative one so what we are going to do is that uh, now we get the gradient of rs so what is the gradient of rs we are going to say to talk of change in y over change in, in x because we know how to find the gradient change in y 5 minus y over uh, negative 2 minus x then this gradient I multiply by the gradient SP change in Y change in X again we shall have 1 minus Y over 4 minus X and what are we expecting to get we are expecting to get a negative 1 because the product of gradients of perpendicular lines is negative one as simple as that so let us proceed if i multiply this one i'm going to get five minus y times one minus y over negative two minus x over four minus x is equivalent to negative one Maybe we assume this is over 1. Now what we are going to do, we multiply. We cross multiply, we shall have 5 minus y very fast. 1 minus y is equals negative minus 2 minus x, 4 minus x. So what we have, if we do the multiplication here, we shall have 5 minus 5y minus y plus y squared is equals negative uh, minus 8 plus 2x minus uh, 4x plus x squared so we have to do away with this negative so we shall have if i have to arrange them so that they they, they appear in a better way of a quadratic equation we shall have y squared uh, minus minus 5y minus y will give me 
minus 6y. So we shall have minus 6y then plus 5 is equals. This one we shall have negative times negative 8. We shall have 8. Then negative times positive we shall have negative 2x. Negative under negative we shall have plus 4x. Negative under positive we shall have negative x squared. If I arrange again so that it will appear in um, a better quadratic equation, so I shall have negative x squared. Uh, we have negative 2x plus 4x. This one will be plus 2x and then plus 8. Then we have y squared minus 6y plus 5y. As simple as that. So guys, at this point, we want to take now everything on one side of the equation. So we are bringing this side of the equation to the other side. And remember when you are carrying terms from one side of the equation, be careful with the signs. So we shall have y squared, y squared minus 6y plus 5. So this one is negative x squared, it will be positive x squared. This one is positive 2x, it shall be negative 2x. This one is positive 8, it shall be negative 8 is equals 0. And that is the equation of the circle that is required. You can proceed to simplify uh, depending on how the question is. Maybe we can arrange them so that now it will appear to be the equation of a circle. So that I put the y squared first minus 6y. Then I shall have plus x squared minus 2x. And then now the terms without any unknown. I say plus 5 minus 8. I shall have yes. minus 3 is equals 0. Even at this point, it is the equation that is required. So the the, the presence of these terms proves that that equation is of a circle. So guys, I want to wrap it up at this point. Give it a thumbs up. Share if you can. And remember to turn on your notification bell. From me, it's a bye and a lot of love from me.